Hi, so we're here today to show the HROS based robot. This is a 3 degrees of freedom SCADA robot that has been designed to follow in a path. This robot, thanks to the serious elastic actuators, can be pushed down or we can act as an obstacle and can still accomplish the same task without any problem. Now we're going to show how we can change the configuration of the robot from 3 degrees of freedom to 4 degrees of freedom and still accomplish the same task. Now we can see the new configuration of the robot with 4 degrees of freedom. We can expect that the robot accomplishes the same task exactly with the same features as it has been doing before. This is exactly thanks to the use of neural networks, which is actually embedded into the HROS infrastructure. So in this HROS based robot, we can see the different features that this infrastructure is providing, such as for example, the capability of monitoring every single aspect of every single part and component of the robot. In this case, we can see how every single node is publishing information and we can get the monitorization from the general overview to the smallest details such as the power consumption of each component, everything into the same robot. So summarizing, we can see how different components from different manufacturers can be plugged and played into the same infrastructure thanks to the HROS features. In addition to this, we can see how everything can be monitored and we can control our robot and change the configuration dynamically without the need of configuring again every single interface but instead using one simple interface for all the process.